Hi, we are the Doctors Bjorkman, a physician couple that's been going through trying to conceive pregnancy and now life as new parents, mm -hmm. sharing it with you on YouTube the past year and a half. And today we are going over car seats. We have been trying to find a convertible car seat uh, for our little babe because we just aren't using her infant car seat carrying her in and out as much And so today we are going to tell you all about three different car seats that we explored We have the Cybex Serona S, the Evenflow Revolve 360, and the Nuna Rava yeah. And just in case you've never met us before, I'm Kurt, I'm a board certified pediatrician and new dad I'm Sarah, I am a board certified OBGYN and a first time mom And, and we, we are, are the Doctors Bjorkman Welcome back. So as we said, we want to share our process of picking a convertible car seat with you this week. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go out in our garage, we're going to install each of these, show you kind of the functionality of each of them. Um, and we've been trying them out for the past week or so to try to figure out which one's going to be best for us and our growing baby. Yes, and after that we're going to come back in and we will tell you kind of what we liked and didn't like about each one and which one we decided to go with. Okay, so we're here with the Nuna Rava, one of the most popular convertible car seats on the market, something that was definitely in our top list to try out for baby Cecilia. Uh, install for this car seat was incredibly easy. You can see it's an incredibly high quality seat, just is very nice material, fabric on it. We like the way it looks. Seems like it's gonna last for a long time. Uh, benefits of this car seat is it's got five kind of levels and degrees of recline for rear facing. Um, you can see it will grow with your child as they get longer and taller. Um, and then also has, you can flip it around and have five settings with it too. Um, something that we thought we were going to be able to do was kind of adjust it on the go pretty easily. Um, but something I will say is if you've got it snug here in one setting, as I recline it less and less, it gets more loose. So you'd want to kind of reset those things based on where your setting was at. Um, so overall, love the quality, love that it can grow with your child. It's up to 50 pounds rear facing, up to 65 pounds in the front facing mode. Um, it's got nice little cup holders for the sippy cup. Install was very easy. Safety is high in terms of it's got side impact protectors. We also love that there's nice little places to store, store the seat belt, the belt for them kind of while you're getting kiddo in and out. Talking about getting the kid in and out in the rear facing mode, for us in our Suburban, you can see there's not a whole lot of room between this side of the seat and where the seat belt is. And so in terms of getting kit in, getting kit out, it's a little bit constricted. And then also just thinking about kind of contorting yourself to get there um, in our taller SUV is a little bit of a challenge that we've experienced with this particular car seat. Um, anticipate that would be much easier in the front facing mode, but in terms of a rear facing seat, uh, it's a bit tight from that standpoint. So another functionality of this car seat is it's got this little leg room extender. Um, so to get this to work for us, I've, I've leaned this seat back um, and then this actually pulled out to give you extra leg room for the kiddo. With the seat in the upright position, there was actually pretty limited uh, leg room for the child in this seat. So again, a reminder, limited leg room is never a reason to flip your child to be the front facing. Again, we wanna be rear facing till at least two years of age from a safety standpoint and ideally as long as possible. Um, so this gives them a, a, an ability to be rear facing with good stability. Overall, incredibly nice seat, very highly rated, uh, one of the most popular on the market. Um, great seat if this is what you end up choosing for you. Something we really love about the Nuna Rava is how easy install was. Um, in the rear facing mode, the strap actually goes through kind of underneath one cup holder. And then you can see in here, and it crosses across the bottom underneath the seat. There's a little flap that pulls up and this is actually a tensioner. So once you've got the seat belt in place, things are tight. This just pops down, seat belt is back in place. Super simple. Uh, if we were planning on moving this from car to car often, it'd be an absolute plus for this car seat in terms of the ease of install and then pulling the car seat out of the vehicle. Okay, this is the Cybex Serona S uh, car seat that we wanted to try out for ourselves because of its ability to rotate 360 degrees uh, just for the ease of getting baby in and out. Um, some other great things about this is it will hopefully grow with baby Cecilia. It can be as small as a four pound infant with the newborn insert um, and can go up to 65 pounds in the front facing position 
50 pounds in the rear facing position and it's got lots of different settings for degrees of incline that I'll show you. Um, so of course, starting out, things that we like is the ability to get baby in. So there's a nice easy latch that allows you to rotate and have baby here, easy to get in and out. Um, something important to note, this function only works with rear facing. You cannot rotate from forward to side like this because there is a special latch and a safety feature here. When you're in the front facing mode, this latch here um, is meant to anchor the seat to give it extra safety and stability in the forward facing. And so because once you have that in place, you won't be able to rotate. So that's something that's important to know. If I'm in the front facing mode, I'm gonna have it latched to the back of the seat and I won't be able to use that swivel. I um, mean, you see it comes with a nice handy cup, um, but easily rotates all the way around. Forward. Um, it has great safety ratings. It's got these side impact protection as um, a couple other models do too. Um, other things that are nice, um, you can see we've got the clips magnet here to the side. I'll say they're not incredibly strong. It's nice and easy that it just snaps on, but it is pretty easy to knock out inadvertently, but it's something there that is reasonable to use. Um, install with this was fairly straightforward. Um, recommended to use the seatbelt install. There are also you can use latches here um, to latch it into the base. Um, this is good for, I think, 30, up to 35 pounds and 40 pounds, whether you're rear facing or front facing, um, but you get the max weight by using the seat belt function. Um, I will say there's a little bit of wobbliness. At the base, it's pretty sturdy, but if you hold up here, you can feel some movement. Sometimes I can get this a little bit more secure, but something that we've noticed and it's pretty easy to bump it and have it then be more loose. Um, but the base is nice and sturdy, so it's safe, just something that feels a little loose. Um, some other nice thing we do really like that it's got a load leg up here in the front. You can see this leg here allows you to adjust to height um, and then gives extra stability in terms of tipping forward. Um, we thought that was a nice function. Um, again, other things. So lots of different positions in terms of reclining. You can do this on the go. You can change. So say baby's happy sitting upright and then they fall asleep. You could easily, if you wanted, recline them um, without moving anything else. That is not a function you can do uh, with the new Narava. Um, again, in terms of buckle and harness, um, you can see there's lots of different settings to grow with your child as they grow. Pretty easily stands up. Um, and has a nice back pad with it too. Um, other things that we really like about this, the sensor safe. Um, so there's a really nice clip here that activates and works on Bluetooth to connect to my phone. So as soon as that goes off, it'll tell me, hey, the baby is clipped. And then actually this happened to me yesterday. If you walk, if you get out of the car and walk away and your phone is a certain distance away, your phone says uh, child in car seat, child in car seat, which is a nice little alarm function to help keep you from forgetting your baby in the car. So again, the thing that we love the most about this car seat, in addition to its great safety rating, is just the ability to rotate for ease of access to get kiddo when they're in the rear facing setting. So again, this is gonna be for your kiddo in the first two years of life um, as it's rear facing until two. Um, one other thing I should mention is just in terms of space. So in the front facing, of course, there's lots of space. The load leg is here to give extra stability. Something for us in this vehicle, we've got a, a Chevy Suburban. Um, it is quite tight to the driver's seat. And so for me personally, having this in the rear facing mode um, makes it very short and limited leg room for the driver. Um, if we end up keeping this model, we will not have it behind the driver's seat just because of the amount of distance from the back seat to the back of the driver's seat and just how much that means the driver has to kind of compress their own personal leg room. In terms of leg room for the baby being rear facing, um, you can see we've got the Nuna Rava on the other side too, um, but you can see there is more leg room with how these are currently set up for the baby um, or the child. Again, the kiddos can absolutely have their legs bent and their feet touching this back of the seat is not an issue. That does not mean that they've outgrown the seat. Um, it is more than okay for them to sit kind of cross-legged and that is safe for them. And so that is never a reason to make your kid front facing. Again, you want them to be rear facing as long as possible at minimum to two years of age. But with the um, Cybex Serona S, you can see there's quite a bit of leg room as a direct comparison to the Nuna Rob, which we have installed on the other side of our car here.
that's the tallest setting. And then to get her out. Voila! What do you think, baby seeds? What do you think, baby seeds? <gasps> so here we are with the third of the convertible car seats we're trying out. This is the Evenflow Revolve 360. Um, definitely some things we like about this one quite a bit as well. Uh, cannot be understated, cannot be overstated, how much we really like the functionality of being able to get your child in and out um, with the rotatable seat like this. Um, clearly you can see lots of space to get kiddo in, strapped in, buckled in safely, and then rotate to either rear facing or forward facing. We love that about both the Cybex Serona and about the even flow. You can see them side by side comparison here too. Um, coming back, some additional things that we liked about this. So uh, this car seat, much like the Cybex Serona and the Nuna Rava, uh, it has uh, similar specs for rear facing and forward facing and can grow with your child as they grow. This even flow uh, Revolve 360 also can convert to a booster for up to 120 pounds, which is not a functionality that the other car seats have. Uh, this does have a little bit lower price point. I think it's about $100 less. We actually just picked this up at Target. Uh, you can feel it a little bit in some of the materials, but still a very nice car seat and something we feel be more than adequate for our little girl. Uh, something we like about this particular car seat, this is again the Evenflow Revolve 360, is that it's got a separate base from the car seat. And the reason we like that so much, the car seat pops out pretty easily. Set this down on the ground. Um, and what this allows is the base is very secure. Um, we've got it secured with the seat belt, and then it also has an anchor strap in the back. Again, you remember the um, Cybex Serona has an anchor strap that is only usable when the car seat is in the forward facing, but when you're using that anchor strap, then it kept it from rotating. Here, the anchor strap is on the base, which means that you've got the benefit of this being extra secure um, while being able to rotate either to the rear facing or the front facing mode. So again, the functionality of this Evenflow Revolve 360 that we love most is the ability to go from rear facing um, to be able to then get your child in and out really easy. That for us with a taller vehicle is super nice for rear facing. And then also something that this model does that the Cybex Serona doesn't is you can go from here to front facing mode as well. Again, because with the Cybex Serona, you need to have the top tethered anchor strap in place. It doesn't allow you to do that, but this having a separate base from the seat itself allows you to go and still use that rotation from front facing and then also rear facing if you want. So first off, the Nuna Rava, this is an incredibly nice seat. Uh, it is the most expensive of these three. You can definitely just tell the fabric is so nice. It is sturdy. It installs and comes out of the car so easily. It's pretty easy to move around and it's definitely the easiest to go from car to car of all three of these. Um, super comfy. Things that we didn't love, it's just it doesn't have the functionality of rotating that we love about the other two. Yeah. Um, and definitely in terms of like long car trips, it's you're in one set position. You can't change the angle of recline if you wanted to go from an awake baby to a sleeping baby. Yeah. That was a bit more reclined. It's kind of you're in one position and then you're set there. If you want to change to a different position, you're kind of uninstalling, reinstalling, but which was an easy process. Just we missed some of the functionality of the movement of the other two. Yes. So that brings us to the Cybex Serona S. Super nice car seat, great safety ratings, love the swivel feature. Um, the thing we didn't end up loving about this was that it swivels to put the babe in, which is awesome, but it only does that when you are in rear facing. Mm -hmm. When you switch the kiddo around after age two sometime to be forward facing, there is a tether that you put over the back of the seat. And when that happens, the car seat doesn't rotate to you anymore, which to me is the magical thing about these is that they rotate to make it so easy to put baby in. Yeah. Would Other you say the deal breaker? I think the deal breaker for this one was just 
when it's in the rear facing mode, the base is incredibly sturdy. We did it with the preferred method of using the, the belt strap, yeah. um, but it felt like there was still quite a bit of motion in play in this, even despite the load leg being in place and installed properly. Yeah. Um, another thing that was really neat about this was the sensor safe really liked this the mm -hmm. the belt was really nice getting the baby in and out and putting the, the belt path was smooth and it was just really easy the sensor safe saying like hey it's 80 degrees in the car your baby's still in the car um it was also really neat so great car seat didn't love it installed in our car maybe it was our car um but it felt a little wobbly um, which then brings us to the Even Flow Revolve 360, which we think is going to be this one of these three that we're going to keep for ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, it has the best price point in terms of being the lowest price of these three. Mm -hmm. Has the functionality of being able to rotate whether you're in front facing or rear facing mode. Yeah, so. super easy. The one annoying thing about this, really annoying. Um, was these straps, these strap covers that you see here, these are actually sewn into the back of the car seat. So you can take this little um, like spit pad off if they throw up on it, but this is here sewn into the car seat, which I felt was really bulky and made it difficult to get the straps tightened down or get them over the baby's shoulders and things like that. This strap buckle system just overall um, wasn't quite the quality of the sensor safe or the one that's on the Nunarava. Um, so that was an annoying thing for me, the one thing I don't like about this, um, but you only have to mess with it quick when you put the baby in and to be able to, you know, potentially recline her a little bit if we're on a long car ride and she falls asleep, being able to rotate her if when she's in forward or back facing, it's just sweet. Yeah. Um, especially because we have a tall vehicle, it might be totally different if you're leaning over to put your baby in, but because our vehicle's a little taller, for me to just be able to turn her to me and set her in mm -hmm. was money. So. Yeah. And I think another thing is just this one has a separate base than the seat itself, yeah. which allows the base to be incredibly sturdy because it's both strapped in with the belt and also has a back strap that secures it over the top. Yeah. And so of the three, this one just felt solid Safe. in our vehicle um, and had the ability to rotate. Yeah. One other thing about all three of these car seats, um, in terms of being the convertible car mm -hmm. seats, is they have newborn inserts that aren't here mm -hmm. that allow you to use these car seats from four to five pounds up to about 60 to 65 pounds, um, and you can add and remove those newborn inserts. So we liked the newborn you know, car seat that you could carry in and out of the car easily, but once your kiddo's bigger and you don't need that functionality anymore, these grow with you. Or if you just want to start with one of these for your tiny baby because you just pick them up and carry them out, that's also works too. Yeah. And we need to mention just in terms of safety with these car seats, um, please make sure that no matter which one you end up with, that you install it properly and then that baby is appropriately secured in it. Um, again, recommendation from the American Academy of Pediatrics is that baby is rear facing till at least two years of age and ideally as long as they can tolerate. Again, that just helps them should there be a car accident that that shock is absorbed into the seat rather than having them their head little pop forward. So just as a follow-up review from this, so we ended up going with the Evenflow Revolve 360 yep. and have absolutely loved it. We've Love been it. using it for two months now and put over 2,000 miles on the car seat. Yep. And there are so many things about it that we're so glad we chose it. We travel a lot. Yep. Um, we do travel a lot, so some of the functionality, things that we really love, one, in our taller vehicle, it's so nice to just be able to turn her to me and just put her in the car seat. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. The other thing I love is we do, we are in the car for long periods of time. Yep. And so being in, having her be in the car seat and fall asleep, being able to like drop her back to recline yeah. while we're moving is so nice because I do feel like it helps her stay asleep a little longer when she's on her back. Yeah, the only kind of like caveat to things that like aren't great about it is if you needed to move it from car to car, mm -hmm. it's not like it's an easy install, but it's just like not really very wieldy to go from one vehicle yeah, to another. Cumbersome. Yeah, and yeah. then for a recent trip we took, we actually like got a, a car seat from Costco that was light and easy to take that we used on right. the plane and the train, and yeah. so this wouldn't be good for that. But in terms of like being in the, our this one vehicle that we're going to use all the time when mm -hmm. we go on trips with it, baby, it's awesome. It's been great, and it was the most affordable yeah. um, of these options compared yeah. to everything we looked at. It was 
almost $200 cheaper than some of the other ones and its functionality is just awesome. So we're really happy. We hope that this was helpful for you uh, to get to see these and see their functionality in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. I know we did a lot of looking on YouTube and different things trying to figure out which one to order. Um, we couldn't, so we decided we'd try all three. Yeah. We ended up with one we are really happy with and hope we find one that works for you. We will see you all next week. Bye, guys. We're doctors. But not your doctors. Anything we've said in this video is for education or entertainment purposes only. It is not medical advice. Any specific medical questions you have should be directed to your provider.